Hey everybody, this is Andrew here with Tower, and I'm here to talk to you about the difference between hydraulic and mechanical brakes on your e-bike. So, what are mechanical and what are hydraulic brakes? So, mechanical brake is probably the one that you're most familiar with, you know, on the uh, you know bike in your garage or an old bike you've been riding around, uh, similar to what we have on this Rad Runner. And how the mechanical brake works is when you squeeze the lever, you're actually pulling a cable that's then pulling those brake pads together and stopping the bike. Now, how does that differ from a hydraulic? Well, a hydraulic brake is similar to what's on like your car or a motorcycle. Instead of having a cable that runs from the brake um, lever to the caliper, you actually have a hydraulic fluid system that runs all the way from the lever and the reservoir all the way down to the caliper. So when you squeeze this lever, instead of pulling a cable, you're basically just creating more pressure in the system that transfers all the way down to the caliper and pushes the two pistons together, stopping the bike. All right, well, we know what mechanical versus hydraulic is. You know, which one would I want? How does that play into my electric bike? Well, I'd be happy to tell you all about that. So if you look on this Rad Runner, we have some mechanical disc brakes. So like I said, the mechanical, you pull a cable, that pulls the brake pads together. You know, the disc brakes, mechanical versus hydraulic, they're gonna give you really good responsive braking power. Both mechanical brakes, all of your braking power is reliant on your hand strength. Because you're pulling that cable, um, you know, if your hands start to tire out, you know, especially after a long ride, you can notice you have some diminished brake power. You know, if you can't pull that, you're not getting any braking power. That differs greatly from the, from the hydraulic brakes. In the hydraulic brakes, the brakes basically do all the work for you. You know, whether you're tired or beginning of your ride, they're gonna give you the same braking power all the way through. And of course, on these e-bikes, you're traveling fast and it's a heavy bike, you wanna make sure you've got some nice responsive braking. Now, on top of that, mechanical brakes also require you to do a bit of adjustments from time to time on your own. So if we look at the front caliper here on the left side of the fork, on the inside of the caliper, we can see that there is a silver disc. This is the inner pad adjustment. So on these mechanical brakes, when we pull the brake cable, it's only pushing one piston in. That piston pushes one brake pad against the rotor, pushing it into the inner pad adjustment. Now with that, you know, the cable will stretch over time. As that cable stretches over time, this is gonna have a little bit more pull. You're gonna have a big loss of braking power. Now to adjust that up, you may have to do some barrel adjustments at the lever or down at the caliper itself. And you'll also have to dial in this inner pad adjustment as well to make sure that your brakes still have that constant strong braking power. The hydraulic brakes don't have to worry about that as much. They're a little more maintenance free, you know, as time goes on. Again, like anything, they do have to be serviced from time to time, but it's much, much, much less than the mechanical. Mechanical, you know, depending on how much you ride in your braking style, you may end up having to adjust this once a week, every other week, where the hydraulic, you pretty much won't have to adjust anything, you know, until you have to get it bled, which is usually about every year, year and a half or so. And when they do need to be bled, you'll notice the brakes will feel a little spongy. They'll still give you decent braking power, but they won't feel quite as uh, nice and snappy. You know, the fluid inside here only lasts for so long. It does need to be bled from time to time. The brake pads do have to be replaced. But aside from that, that's basically all the maintenance that a hydraulic brake would need to do. And that's just about everything you need to know on hydraulic versus mechanical disc brakes on your electric bicycle.